What's going on YouTube, man? So in this video, we're going to talk about advancement exams. Now, if y'all don't know, man, I'm, I'm really good at advancement exams. I made a couple videos about it on like how I made rank. Um, I actually made a board the first time, not the first time up, but when I took chief exam, I literally told, you know what I'm saying? I called it. I was like, you know what? I'm going to make it this, this, this exam right here. I'm going to make it. And that's what I did, man. I, I really do know how to study for advancement exams. I even got some tips and tricks that somebody told me that I really didn't know. And so, but it actually helped me increase my score. Um, so listen up to this video. If you're about to take the advancement exam, this is going to be for my E6s. That's going to take E7. Uh, that's the people that's going to make chief. And I'm talking about United States Navy, by the way. And if you're going to be up for E4, or E5 coming up for uh, this spring test, and then you're going to take this test later on in the year, hopefully this video helps you out. Let's get into the video. All right, man. So if you guys, if you guys never seen this before, this is a profile sheet. This is one of my older profile sheets, and um, I actually like this profile sheet because it's pretty funny. It's a, it's a little story behind it. But I was uh, a O two at the time. And um, I was going up for AO1, so that's my exam rate, right? There we go, that's a little bit better. I was going up for AO1. And so you got your award points, you got your pass with the nine advanced points. Um, so this is the part that really matters the most. So your final multiple needs to be higher than the minimum multiple required, that's what this is. So you need to score a 176.79.97 for this particular cycle. And I ended up scoring a 176.98. Um, this is an actual, this is a pretty important cycle for me because I was going into a new command and I really didn't know what was going on there. And uh, I really felt like if I didn't do my best on this test, if I didn't, if I didn't advance on this test, it was going to be a, a lot harder next cycle. And uh, that's exactly what it was. But anyway, so when you, when you look at your exam topic, so the biggest tip that I could give anybody is to act, after you take an exam, make sure you look at your score. So you will see your number of questions and then it will say your score and then it will say your percentile of your score. Um, but also it has the number of topics. So it'll tell you which topic is. And from reading, reading left to right, you got your topic, your questions, your score, your percentile. So it will tell you what you did bad and good on, right? So anything above, uh, I would say like a, a 50%, 50 to 60%, that's pretty decent. Like you knew what you was talking about. Uh, this one right here, pyrotechnics for me was my worst one. It said, okay, the number of questions you got was 12 and you scored a three, three out of 12 and that was 13%. Uh, that, that's pretty horrible. Uh, another one would be, well, one that I did well on would be ammunition stowage. So that would be from number of questions, 29, your score was 13 and you hit an 89%. Like, of course, these topics and these number of questions is gonna vary depending on your rate and pretty much your rank. It, it's gonna depend on what they ask you, right? And then at the very bottom, it's gonna tell you a status. It'll tell you if you were selected or non-selected. And uh, this right here lets you know if you made the next rank, essentially. So if you've never seen this before, this is called a exam bibli bibliography, uh, bibs for short. So this is for the March 2022 regular examination. If you don't know how to get to this page, man, just hit me in the comment section below and I'll definitely give you the link for it. Um, it'll be for your particular rate. You have to go through and click and everything, but I'll definitely, I'll hook you up if you ask the question. Just ask the question and I'll answer. But if it said that my problem was the pyrotechnics, if you remember. So the pyrotechnics, pyrotechnic manual uh, for us is going to be 11 TAC 140 TAC 7. So this is a NAV Air publication. And so you will go in and then you will see what was actually being tested uh, for this exam. So for March 22 E6 exam bibs, it's saying you need to study the work package 5. So like... If I really wanted to advance my score, and, and a lot of times they don't change these subtopics or what they're what they're testing on, right? So you could just guess they're gonna ask some questions about pyrotechnics. And so I would study mostly on pyrotechnics, that way I could up my score. Now I recommend you use that same strategy for everything else. So like if you needed if you needed to up your score on Naval Aviation Maintenance Program, you will read all of these chapters that they tell you to read. It'll be four chapters, whatever how many that they tell you to read read those chapters and then actually pick pick uh, questions and things of that nature that you don't understand and ask questions to people around you that way you could actually learn it's really about um strengthening 
your your knowledge in those certain areas if you do that your score is going to definitely improve this is the more the most surefire way honestly <laughs> i'm telling you right now i've taken a lot of exams i passed exams by studying the 321 manual that's something for aviation ordinance men but um if you're doing all those questions and answers that people made up themselves that's like that's more tailored for them that's not tailored for anybody else so if you're one of those people that need to get inside the publications and learn make sure you see what you're scoring lowest on go to the go to the bibs line it up with the test scores line it up with the subject and line it up with the chapters that you need to pinpoint pinpoint what you need to strengthen i guarantee you your score is gonna go up at least a couple points because as you see it man i made it by like 0.1 so that could be the difference between you making rank and not making rank just by you taking that extra initiative use the tip of actually making questions yourself and testing other people um i did shop questions so like if i had a shop i would write down on like a big old piece of um like notebook paper or one of those cardboard pieces of paper something you can hang up on the wall or something or a dry erase board and then i have a question of the day and then i have people answer the question for the question of the day um i don't reward people because you know what i'm saying you if you want to study then study and then i'll do study groups i'll invite people over to the shop after working hours or we'll go into the break room and then we'll just study with each other the thing about it is um iron sharpens iron so when, when you guys are hanging out you could be, you know what I'm saying, tossing questions back and forth or talking about the job or different questions that you may have seen because you never know who knows what and you don't. You definitely don't know who doesn't know something. Um, a lot of people are, and you know what I'm saying, they don't want to air their dirty laundry. They don't want to be like, man, I don't know nothing. But um, test other people, get inside the publications, write your own questions, write your own answers because you will remember because making this stuff takes a lot of time. And so when you do the playback, you'll even catch spelling errors, you'll catch um du duplicate questions that you made maybe and then people also will ask you questions on how did you how did you get that answer or where did you find that answer so if somebody's talking about bombs for an example they'll tell you which pub they'll tell you 11 tech 140 tech 5 or 11 tech 140 tech 10 or 11 tech 140 tech 7. i only know that stuff off the top of my head because i've been working on it right and so those different manuals will, will come second nature that way you could definitely um, improve your score on these exams appreciate you guys checking out the video and i'll catch you next time Peace.